Hi, I'm Denise. Thank you for watching my video. This video is in response to the person who asked how to pronounce the words poor, poor, power, and pull. So these are the words that I will be talking about today. I will talk about how to pronounce them and towards the end of the video I will give you several sentences to practice with me. If you want detailed information about any of these sounds or other sounds as well, please look at my other videos. Today I will not be going into a lot of detail about how to make each of these sounds, but you can find that information in my other videos, okay? All right, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And also please consider donating to my channel. It would be a huge help to me. I appreciate large and small donations. Anything you can do um, would be wonderful for me. But if you can't donate, that's okay too. I just love making these videos for you. And I love it when you watch them. So thanks again for watching. Before I talk about each of these words individually, I do want to say that there are many dialects of English, including in, in the United States itself, and people who speak these dialects pronounce many words differently, including some of these. I am from the Midwest region of the United States. That's this red part here. Um, and by the way, this is a, a very basic outline of the mainland United States. So I'm from this part. It's called the Midwest. It's actually in the north central part of the country. But that's where my accent is from. But it is the accent that is used in many TV news programs. Okay. <laughs> so with that said, but there are many other dialects and other pronunciations, especially with vowel sounds. Okay, for instance, California is over along this side. Um, that may have different pronunciations. We've got Washington up here, Texas down here, and Florida, and some of these southern states have different accents. Again, especially with the vowel sounds. Over here, in the, on the eastern coast, there are different accents as well. Um, but mine, again, is from the Midwestern region. Okay. <laughs> In my accent, I pronounce these two words exactly the same. And I pronounce them as poor. Poor. Okay? All of these words begin with the letter P and the sound P. And they all end with an R sound or a R sound. A sound for the letter R. Again, these two, though, are pronounced exactly the same um, by me, in, in my accent, poor, we have the aw, vowel sound, which when combined with the r, becomes or, as in the word or, o-r. So, well, let me just write that, o-r. It sounds like the word or. So this is poor, poor, poor. But in some parts of the United States, um, people do not pronounce these exactly the same. They do pronounce poor this way, okay? Poor um, with the aw vowel sound. But they pronounce this word differently. It's more like poor, poor. This vowel sound is uh, as in the word book. So it has the same vowel sound as book, but when combined with this R or R, it becomes poor, poor. So in some parts of the United States, people do pronounce these differently. You can pronounce them whichever way you want, okay? <laughs> if you want to pronounce them differently, as this one is poor and this one is poor, that's fine. People will understand you. If you want to pronounce them the same, both as poor, that's fine too. Okay? Alright. <laughs> this word, power, is different in a few ways. The first way is that power has two syllables. And 
the two words poor only have one syllable. So power, it has two syllables or two beats. Power, okay? It begins with a P or a P and it ends in an R. So it has the P sound at the beginning and a sound for the letter R or R at the end. But this vowel is different. This is how, is in the words how or cow. This is ow, ow. So this vowel sound is different from the other ones we just saw. So when I make this one, I start with my mouth open wide, ow, but then I close it and round my lips a bit at the end, ow. Ow. So with the p sound, this part of the word, the beginning part, the first syllable, sounds like pow, pow. So I make the p and go into the ow, pow, pow. And the second syllable for the letters er, we have the sound er and there are many ways to transcribe it. I did it this way, but you may recognize this or even others. This is the er sound. It is the same sound as in the word her, except it's, it's not stressed in this word. The stressed syllable here is the first syllable. This is power, power, okay? So, we have pour, one syllable, pour, one syllable, power, two syllables, okay? <laughs> and then we have the word pull. To me, this word sounds very different than the other ones, but I understand why some people may confuse this word with the others. First of all, it does begin with the letter P, the sound P. The vowel sound here, uh, is also the same sound as in this version of poor or poor. It's the vowel sound is in book. You can see the symbol I wrote here for the vowel sound is uh. The symbol is the same here. Then the word ends with the letter, two letters L, which some people confuse with the sound for the letter R. The L and the R, though, are, are very different, but I know some people have trouble distinguishing between these two sounds, and also in distinguishing and hearing these two sounds, and also in saying these sounds. For the L's, the, the sound O, the tip of the tongue touches the ridge behind my teeth. Oh, oh. For the R sound, or the letter R, the R, the tongue does not touch the top of the mouth. So those two are very different in that way. An R by itself, or a R by itself, not with R, but R is R. L is O. Again, if you want detailed explanations about these sounds or any sounds, please look at my other videos. Okay, for now I'm not going to go into a lot of detail there. But again, for those people who confuse this word with some of the others, perhaps with the letter or with the word poor or poor, the P is the same, the vowel sound is the same if you're talking about this pronunciation. The vowel sound is the same, but the last sound is different. This one is R, this one is O. So here for this, this would be poor, pull, pull. Now of course I pronounce poor this way, so for me this would be poor, pull, poor, and when I pronounce this word, 
I feel that I reduce the vowel sound. It's not a, it's not as strong as it would be if I pronounced this word using the same vowel sound. Um, and some people do, and again in different regions of the country, do pronounce this word with more of a schwa sound. Um, but for me, it's it's pull. Okay. So again, there are variations with these words, but I hope that this explanation has helped you a little bit. And now we'll go on and talk about some sentences. Here are some sentences to practice saying with me. Using the words, poor, poor, power, and pull. Please repeat these sentences after me. I'll say each sentence more than once, okay? Here it goes. My poor flowers are dying. My poor flowers are dying. Poor. Pull the door, don't push it. Pull the door, don't push it. Pull. The engine doesn't have any power. The engine doesn't have any power. Power. Please pour water on the poor plants. Please pour water on the poor plants. Pour. Pour. Here we have lawn mower. Pull the power cord on the lawnmower. Pull the power cord on the lawnmower. Power. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for making it to the end. And please remember to like and to subscribe and to share this video with your friends. And if you can, please consider donating. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.